AMG makes powerful cars for both the road and the track and this is one of those cars. Today we're going to be looking at one of my most favorite cars of all time, the CLS 63 AMG. So today is going to be really exciting for me to review this car. But before we do, let's talk about AMG and the CLS first. So AMG or Arfetch Melcher Gosaspa is the performance lineup in Mercedes-Benz and they make some of the best cars in the world. For example, the AMG GT, the G63, the S65 and of course this the CLS 63. Now the CLS is actually based on the Mercedes-Benz E-Class but it's much more luxurious and powerful. Now there are a few base standard models to the CLS, for example the CLS 350 and the CLS 400. But today we're going to be looking at the more powerful one in the group and that is the CLS 63 AMG. Let's talk about the price first. So in places like the United States and Europe, the price of a used Mercedes-Benz CLS 63 is usually priced at just under $50,000 or euros. But in Indonesia, where we are now, a used Mercedes-Benz CLS 63 is usually priced at just over $1 billion. So this car is much more expensive than the standard CLS, but this car is more powerful and it looks better than the standard CLS. Now let's talk about the details in this car, starting from the front. The front of course looks much more aggressive than the standard CLS with the use of the AMG bumper but it still has the exact same lights to the CLS 350 which are LED headlights but in the facelift version they use brand new headlights which look different and uses the multi-beam LED system. Right, that's enough of the front, now let's move on to the side of the car. In this side you can already know that it's unmistakably a CLS by its coupe streamlined design. Well, Mercedes does call it a four-door coupe, and just like a coupe, it has frameless doors. And in every AMG, you can always know the type of engine that's being used by looking at the emblem in the front fenders. In the front fenders of the CLS 63, it says V8 by Turbo. So you can already know that under the hood of this car, there is a V8. Right, so that's enough of the side. Now let's head on to the wheels. So this is not actually the original rim. It's already been changed, but like the original rim, it has five spokes. And the brake calipers uses the gray AMG brake calipers. But if we have the performance package, the brake calipers are colored red, just to give it a more sporty look. That's enough of the rim. Now let's head on to the back of the car. Now we're in the back of the CLS 63. And in the rear of a CLS 63, you can already tell that is the CLS by its signature rear tail lights, which looks absolutely amazing. The first time I saw CLS, I can already tell that it's a fast car just by its tail lights. So the tail lights in the CLS is actually mainly LEDs, so LED brake lights and LED turn signals. And there is this spoiler in the trunk. In the center CLS, the spoiler is not there. And because it's an AMG, it already uses the AMG exhaust system. And that is where the amazing sound of this car comes from. So that's enough of the exterior features. Now let's head on to the interior. So now we're going to move on to the interior of the CL63 starting from the front. So the steering wheel has a few controls, for example, to toggle the digital screen in your speedometer, your call settings, along with your volume settings. And this car does come with shift pads that you can use. In the levers in the left side of the steering wheel, the top one is used for your cruise control, the middle one is for your turn signals and wipers, and in the very bottom, the controls for your steering wheel adjustments. Now in the gauge clusters, it just shows your speedometer, your RPMs, your fuel levels, and your oil temperature. In this other console here, you have your gear shift. Usually in a Mercedes-Benz, the gear shift is behind the steering wheel. But in this car, the gear shift is in the center console. And next to the gear shift, there are your driving modes. Now your driving modes has four settings. For example, the Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Manual. Manual is used if you want to tweak your own settings. So if you think you can tweak the car better than the people at AMG, 
go ahead. So there are a few compartments in the center console. For example, in your armrest, next to the gear shift, and below your climate controls, which has the cup holders. Over here, you have your climate controls, the controls for your heated and cooled seats, the controls for the musics on your radio, and probably the most eye-catching detail, the analog clock. So basically, in normal, usual Mercedes-Benzes, like the Mercedes-Benz CLS350, they only have normal Mercedes-Benz branded analog clocks. But in an AMG, you have analog clocks made by IWC Schaffhausen. And IWC Schaffhausen is a very exclusive watchmaking brand, which makes some of the best timepieces in the world. But actually, I found out if you do have a Mercedes-Benz and you want to change your normal Mercedes-Benz clock to an IWC Schaffhausen clock, you actually can. But exclusivity and luxury comes with a price. And I've searched it out on the internet, and I found out that the Mercedes-Benz IWC Schaffhausen clock can cost between $200 to $500 or euros. So prepare for your wallet's funeral if you want to buy one of these. The Mercedes-Benz CLS also comes with electric adjustable seats. So in both the front passenger and the driver's seat, you can adjust the seats electrically. And the seats also comes with three memory seat settings for you to save your seating positions in the way you most prefer it. So the speakers in this car uses premium sound by Harman Kardon. So Mercedes-Benz has uses a variety of premium sound brands throughout their models. For example, Harman Kardon, Bang & Olufsen, and Burmester. So in the top, you have your cabin lights, which also comes with a re little reading light, which is located below the rear view mirrors for those of you who have a hard time finding it. And this car also comes with a sunroof, which you can cover up. Now the sun visor in the CLS comes with a little mirror and a little light. So that's enough of the front. Now let's move on to the back. So now we're in the back of the Mercedes-Benz CLS, and if you notice, there isn't actually a middle seat. Usually in the Mercedes-Benz, there is a middle seat for maybe your children to sit in the middle. But there is no middle seat for your children in the CLS 63 AMG, because underage children are not yet strong enough to handle the immense power that this car has. It's just like a roller coaster in Disneyland where they restrict underage children to go on the rides. But Mercedes-Benz did replace the middle seat for these two compartment areas, which is still practical. And in the armrest in the back, which you can fold down, there is still compartment space in here, which also comes with cup holders. In the middle here, above the compartment areas, there's also your climate controls in the rear. And there's also the seat pockets behind the front seats. In the back, there's also your reading light and the roof. And there's actually curtains that can cover up the rear window, which you can control in the center console in the front. So that's enough of the interior. Now let's check the trunk. So now we're going to move on to the trunk of the CLS, but you can open the trunk in three ways. One is from the button in the driver's side door pocket. The second one is by pressing the little button below the Mercedes-Benz logo. The third way is from the key by pressing the little button over here. It opens up by itself. So there is quite a lot of trunk space in the CLS. It is really wide even though the rear cabin is actually also very spacious. So you can actually fit lots of items in there like lots of suitcases and lots of bags. And you, if you want to close the trunk, you can do it electrically by pressing this little button over here. So that's enough of the trunk. Now let's get on to the best part, the engine. Now this is the best part the engine. This is Mercedes-Benz's twin turbocharged 5.5 liter V8 which produces about 518 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. But with the performance package, it upgrades the power output to 550 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. And of course in every AMG engine, there's always the plaque with the signature of the person who built it. So in AMG, each AMG engine is hand-built by one person. So it's one man one engine. But in every modern car, the engine hood cover is held up by hydraulics. So there is no need for a metal pole or your hands to hold up the engine hood cover because it's already held up with the help of hydraulics. 
so you don't need to worry about the engine hood cover suddenly falling over your head or your hands while you're checking the engine, which is really nice. So that is my review on the Mercedes-Benz CLS 63 AMG. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you all to the next video.